So you might be trying to figure out how you can update your emojis on your specific Android phone. Now I've talked about this quite a few times before, but the process of doing this is not really a crazy big process. It's not really that hard. The only thing you're going to have to do for the most part is just make sure that your Android phone has an update available. So the quickest way to do this is by going out of your specific page, whatever your page you were on, making your way over to your settings panel like this. And all you want to do is go and go down into your software update panel on your Android phone. So whether it's a Google Pixel, a Samsung that I have here, just go and click on software update. Now what you want to do here is you want to go and click download and install. So you want to download and install the latest update that's available. Now you can see there is an update available. Now not every update out there is going to be doing this. If you have an update and you read it and there does kind of, it does state that all oh, new emojis available or whatever, well then what I would recommend doing is going through and installing the latest update. Like I said, not every single Android update will allow you to do this, but a majority of them, if you want to, if you're you know, wanting to update your emojis, going through and installing the latest update is basically what's going to fix it for you. Now, for some reason you do that and that's still not working out and the emojis are still the same or whatever, well, you may want to go ahead and try out a different keyboard. So what this means is basically, if you make your way over to your Google Play Store, there can be some other keyboards that are out there. So if you want to use a keyboard like Gboard, for example, which is you know Google's own keyboard, I like this keyboard a lot, it's very cool. Sometimes, not every time, but sometimes they make it features inside of these keyboards that your keyboard may not have. If you're already using this, then that's fine, you can try a different one. But in this case, this keyboard may have different emojis or different styling or different whatever that you may not already have. So here what you can do is go and read and basically up, you switch to this key, keyboard and basically you can see if their emojis are there and if they are, then you're pretty much good to go. So. Those are two or three different alternative ways of basically updating your emojis on your Android phone. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.